Styles. Come on, man. Now I'm going to have to listen to your music to see where you really are. Come on, man. Don't nobody want to fuck no skank-ass broke-down hood rats. And you glorifying this shit? You want a bunch of stank bitches on your knob? Turning that motherfucker? Come on, man. When you begin to get something, you're supposed to up your level, man. Bring up the quality of bitches you fuck with. Now you're trying to ask hoes to fuck you. Come on, man. God damn. This is, this is, this is worse than Flavor Flav, man. Come on, piles. Pile of what? I don't know, man. I know that there are certain things you do to better your people. If everybody thinks black people are stupid, dumb, and ignorant, what do you think you just proved by asking a bunch of bitches to come just let you bust nuts in them? Come on, man. That's low. And the thing is, with low shit, low shit stay close to the ground. You can't get up off the ground if you're so fucking low. And you better be giving these bitches blood tests and shit Skank test. They gotta go to the doctor first, right? 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 What's gonna happen when one of your boys come over and they ask you, Pops, you want us to let him bust it? You gonna let him bust it too? And then you gonna choose her to be your busted baby at the end of the, the show? The one that let your boys, that you let your boys run through? Come on, man. I can't even... I can't even come up with nothing to say because it's so ludicrous. It's stupid. It's just dumb. I mean, for some street hoes to be on you. Man, ain't you learned anything from having anything in this short period of time since you had something? Don't you remember how it used to be? Huh? Now you can have anything you want because of recognition and you want to go right back to the hood to find some old dumbass bitch to suck your dick you can get that without a TV show why don't you have some white bitches on there trying to bust that and let you bust on the white bitches baby let you bust on some white hoes um, let you bust on some Mexican chicks all they did was show us a bunch of hood rats on that video man hood rats the bottom of the barrel. You know what I said about the bottom. You get the ones from the bottom. They're on the bottom for the reason. The cream rises to the top. You want shit. You want shit. Why don't you just go on out to the club, jiggly room, where the ass is already hanging out and just busting one of them. Now, you want the reality show. And the reality show to show how stupid black women are. Well, I'm pretty sure we all saw New York. And we learned from her stupidity. And Flavor Flav, we learned from his stupidity. And now I guess we got to learn from your stupidity. The fucked up part about this, Piles, is 10 years from now, when I pick up a newspaper and shit, you know, I'll be old as fuck, and I'll be like, oh, man, the young rapper... The, the, the young rapper, the young rapper got that, the, 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 the gonocephalic gingivitis. Yeah. Advertising to stick your dick in some dirty pussy is not cool. Bust it, baby. Break that rock off into that hot joint. Yes, whatever you plan on doing with these little dumb assholes, understand this, man. It's your life. This is your life, man. You might not do another TV show or another album, nothing. This is it. With your one shot, your 15 minutes of fame, you stretched it. You stretched it longer than you knew you could stretch it. And now, at the, up, is this, is this it? Is this the peak? Is this as far as you think you're going with what you do? You don't think you any better than this? 
handsome young man, fucking skank hoes from the hood. I'm ready to do anything. Ride or die. Bonnie and Clyde bend over. He can just bust it in my mouth and stick a banana up my ass. Whatever the fuck she said. I mean, there are standards, man. You shooting out the fucking window. You just, you just, you just doing it. You doing things. I mean, on The Bachelor, you know. Dude, you know, did a little kissing and, you know, little, 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 you know, necking as they used to call it, making out. Flavor of Love. I mean, uh, what's the name of that show? Uh, before the Flavor of Love, when it was in the house, uh, Flavor and Bridget, uh, I forget the name of that celebrity, some shit. <coughs> Flavor of Love was on that big woman. <clears throat> then you got the flavor of love and then New York. No. Not all black women are hoes, man. You enough saying they hoes. But I tell you what, you brought some hoes out. The hoes came out the woodwork. The tramps came out for fifteen minutes of fame. They willing to suck and fuck on somebody just because they seen their picture for 15 minutes of fame. I get to walk around this house and try to fuck this man, and 15 to 20 other girls are trying to fuck the same man. So, after you fuck these 15 bitches, because they now woman are gonna be on your show. I want you to know you won't have one woman on your show. And. She can't be on your show unless you can bust one. So, you got a good girl find out right there at the audition that she got to suck your dick or fuck you. She's not going to be on your show. Uh, that respectful girl who just wants to be on TV because she want to pay for her college classes, she won't be on your show. That beautiful girl that could be your wife, fine. Sexy sister. Got all these and all that. Fine. She won't be on your show. I'm sorry, Alice. She can't make it. That good girl down the street. She won't be on your show. Now, the former stripper that couldn't make it. She's on your show. 18-year-old prostitute running from Earl, she is going to be on your show. The girl that was chain raped and now she's on uh, drugs and shit, she is going to be on your show. The girl that was homeless about three months ago, took a bath, washed her ass, like she said, she willing to do it for the locals, she's going to be on your show. The heavy set one with the big old booty that loves sucking strange dicks. She is going to be on your show. The one that found out three months ago that her ex-husband died of AIDS. She may be on your show. So, listen man, I can't tell you how to do nothing because I'm just doing YouTube. You doing things. I'm doing YouTube. So while you doing things, busting a piece of plastic, busting a Trojan, busting a Durex. But don't bust in them, baby. Don't bust in none of them, baby. I seen what you picked. <laughs> Makes my stomach ache. Have a stomach ache. I had to shit, and then I shit, and my shit took a shit after looking at them bitches. Um, I don't even know what to say, man. I mean, got motherfuckers commenting on your video, but they not commenting directly to your video. I'm commenting directly to your video. And Piles, this is the shittiest thing I've ever seen you do. And Piles, you've been tubed.
I'm gonna tube you again because I don't tube. I didn't tube you right this time. 